Alright guys, today I'm going to beat Speedrun 4 without jumping. There will be no spacebar presses. This is Speedrun 4 Classic because you can only do this, you can only do jumpless with the gravity coil. And the current Speedrun 4's gravity coil is not good enough to do the entire game jumpless. So what defines jumpless? Alright, so basically, uh, any time the spacebar is pressed is a jump. That is it. I cannot press the spacebar. I will be using the speed coil to go a little bit faster so I don't have to run through the entire track, you know? God, Speedrun 4 Classic had some bangers. I wish some of these songs... Well, this song was removed. I'm pretty sure the song in this stage was a Coldplay song, if I remember correctly. I might not be remembering that correctly, but... Oh, I'm gonna die if I do that, because I just hit the ceiling. The ceiling is really low in Speedrun 4 Classic, like you can hit it easily. Oh. Cool. Oh. Oops. Oh, I need the gravity coil to do that. Pressing left and right. Oh yeah, that, that sometimes happens too if I'm shimmying like on the wall and I get up to the edge of the wall and I get up to the ledge, I can like get a little bounce without a jump. I'm gonna try to take a shortcut here because this is a slight slope. Okay, I don't, I don't gain enough height for that, actually. Let me see if, can I do this? Can't do that, but the speed coil gives you more height off of a slope. If you like use the speed coil, the faster you run, the more height you gain with the gravity coil. Okay, this is the first challenge. Normally, you could just hold spacebar across here and skip the entire level even without a grappling, even without a gravity coil. But um, this is a no jumping challenge, so I can't exactly do that. Also, by moving forward and backwards, I can kind of like do that. You can gain height by doing that, but it's very small and situational. And honestly, you don't even need to do it. Let's see, like that. There's no spacebar presses there. I might actually need to do it here. Oh, never mind. I clicked the ledge and gained height. You can land on top of the penguin right here. Just like that. My end cat logo. This one's easy, just hold W. Uh, I thought this was going to be a problem because the because of the spacing, but gravity coil is overpowered in Speedrun 4 Classic. I'm going to try to use the speed coil to gain some, a lot of height. Can I make it? Oh yeah, I made it. This level is pretty wacky, so like... You would expect to have to go all the way here, but I, I showed it right there, but it's it's a steep slope, but it's a slope, and you can bounce on it. Just like that. I don't know if touching the green waterfall right there, the little acid fall, I don't know if touching that kills me, because I don't know if you're meant to be able to get there, but I'm just going to assume you can. This is the first roadblock. But it's not really a roadblock, it's really easy to get through here. So all you gotta do here... I think you can do this in Speedrun 4 Classic. Gain height, hug the wall, you fall really slowly if you hug the wall. And you can get on the ledge like that. And then you can use this little steep slope right here to get some height. You almost touch the ceiling in this level. Alright, don't mind any background noises by the way, I can't control that, so apologies. I'm going to speed coil off the edge, put the gravity coil on, I don't know if that makes a difference, but just barely make it. This level is kind of difficult, so this is 
kind of like... Oh, I didn't even need to do that. What I was doing was like... These trees... You can kind of gain height off these trees right here, I think. You know what, I'm gonna call this little trick right here the slam. That's what I called it before. The slam, there you go. You do the slam, you gain some height. That's what I used to do right there. Turns out you can just climb it though. Using this steep slope, you can bounce. That cloud, this is physical. You can touch that cloud, which is pretty cool. I didn't gain enough height to actually touch it that time, but you can touch the cloud. This level's really easy, you just gotta like do that. Very simple. This level. You can't exactly like do a shortcut to this level until you find a slope. What I was thinking was like you could like do this. Oh, you totally can. Wow. Walls are overpowered in this game. This one, you just fall off. Not too bad. This one right here, you do the same thing, except... Can you hug the wall on this one? Yeah, you can. Hugging the wall is kind of broken, so I'm gonna never hug the wall. But... You can do that by hugging the wall. Using this slope, you can gain height. Touch the cloud if you want to. This level is different on Speedrun 4 Classic. Actually, every, every like most levels are different on original, on like the up-to-date Speedrun 4 than this one. Since in the Speedrun 4, this part is like jumbled and messy, like a, it's like an actual motherboard. But in this one, they're just straightforward jumps. But like all the other ones, I could probably just do this. Just run off and do that. So right here... There's a sloped... Oh, slope right here, just use that. And you get your dub. stage right here, slope right here, climb it, oh this might not work, nope it works, touch the cloud for swag points, oh I missed it, oh I did not get any height, I'm dead, that's the first real fail, I was supposed to gain height from that, that time I gained height. Ooh, that might not make it. Just barely. There's no music in this level anymore. It used to be like a pretty cool music. I'm pretty sure that I can make it to the end from the start, but I have to hug the wall. So I'm not gonna do that. I think I might be able to, uh... So these look really thin. I think I might be able to actually like gain some height off of the. Uh, I might be able to like clip the ledge and bounce off. Oh. Nope. I guess those ledge clips are only really viable on the last level, but. You can do that. This level right here, this is a roadblock if I've seen one. So you gotta gain height. Do a slam. Come on, just one slam. This trick is like majorly RNG. I don't know how to get this consistently. I don't think you can get this consistently. Oh, there we go. Got one. I need to get another one now. Can I just do this? 
Oops. Oh, true jumpless run, guys. Let's skip the level. Only 25 Robux? I swear in the up-to-date version of Speedrun 4, it costs like 50. Get that one. Oh, that was a good one right there. Oh, I'm gonna hit the ceiling. Closest I could get was here. Boom. This level's like Maple Tree Way from Mario. Just like that. Boom. Okay, this one's not too bad. I'm just gonna do it like that. Oh, that's how momentum works in this game. I wonder if I could abuse that in normal speedrun for. Okay. Made in the heaven did not work that time. Climb this. Do I have to slam you? Could I gain height? Any other one? Oh, there's the height that I needed. There we go. God, the gravity coil is broken in this game. Speed coil's pretty good too. Oh. Well, that's not good. So immediately I'm hit with a situation. Wait, I recognize this song. Do, do, do. Love this song. There we go. Oh my god, I made it all the way up here? Wow. Okay, now this one's a bit tricky. You have to use a slope from here. Just like that. Cloud level, this one's really easy, it's like a made in heaven. Boom. This level shouldn't be terrible because there's a sump right here. Boom. Final level. Final soap right here. How did I gain so much height on that one attempt that I did? You can gain height by grazing the sides. Just a little slam right there. Oh, I'm just gonna do some slams, I guess. Oh. Alright, um. I can't get back up there, can I? I'd like to get back up here, I need to test. Oh, alright. There it is. That's how you do it.
and I can just speed coil it. Oh. And that's how you beat Speedrun 4 Classic without jumping. It requires both of these game passes. I don't know why anyone would want to do this little challenge thing, but I thought it'd be pretty cool to show. Y'all have a wonderful night, and uh, see y'all later.